this is Trevor again from Jet Photography and I got a DM on my Instagram saying how do you make a photo of a layer black and white in Photoshop and today I'm doing a great depth on that I'm, I'm going to change for you a photo into black and white and we really talk much about that so there here is my program and this is Photoshop 2021 and let's see how we can do that so first of all there are many ways of making a photo into black and white or decirculating any colors of in your photo to black and white and so what does black and white means or what does desaturation mean desaturation means that you have muted all the colors like i'm seeing the oranges and the, the kind of blues and yellows in my photo to to gray that that's what the saturation means i mute all my colors to gray so first go to image adjustments and desaturate the shortcut is shift command u so when you say desaturate it really mutes all the colors in your photo into black and white so that's one let me press ctrl z to undo this or you can go to the layers and check with the adjustment icon and look for black and white it really does the same and with this adjustment layer it gives you the flexibility to change all to change the luminosity of colors in your photos let me see so if i come to the reds and check with the slider of this luminous tab so the lightness changes so the red the part of the reds will really decirculate or the parts of red will really darken cause um tampering with the luminosity and with this adjustment layer it gives me presets so i can check out with what black and white preset i would like to use because all these presets have different luminosities of colors and luminosity simply means the lightness or darkness of the color so this is the second one if i don't use the desaturate part i'll head over to my adjustment icon and really look for the adjustment layer called black and white that to really work better for me so if not that let me delete this there so i can go to again image adjustment and black and white is there so the shortcut is alt shift command b so it desaturates same as the other adjustment layer so this one also gives you the luminosity of the colors and you can even apply a tint let me show you how to do that this is the luminosity of color so if i turn this down to negative 200 it really darkens the areas where my yellows are located and if i'm really dragging to the positive 300 it brightens so tint is simply a color that overlays onto a photo so if i make if i really so let me check for any hue here hue means name of color so i'm making green and i'm making oh this is yarn blue so you can pick any color of your choice and saturation only means the vividness or intensity of color into your photo so if i really drag to the zero there will be any change so if i really drag it to the positive 100 or 100 percent of the color that i've really picked as my tint will pop will be vivid will be intense so that's the black and white adjustment also into my photo it really makes my photo black and white or it mutes all the colors in my photo to the gray part and the one method that i really like is like you change the 
color mode of the photo so this is the name and this is the color so if you check at the name tab of your photo you will see the color mode so this is rgb red green and blue mode of my photo that's a default for the, the photoshop software and slash eight those are bits for the photo so this photo is in rgb mode that's the color mode that this photo is in and what does rgb means so colors that really apply in a photo are as a result of mixing filters of green red and blue so when you mix the filters you really get all the colors that are in the photo let me try to show you that so if i go to my layers and change from layers right here to to channels you can see that we have the green the green channel the red channel and the blue channel so these work as filters that combine in certain amounts or quantities to produce the colors that you really see in your photo so whichever color you get in your photo is as a result of mixing the blue filter the green filter and the red filter which are our channels to make the rgb in so this is the colored image and we want to change the rgb mode to the desaturated or the muted or the black and white channel of our photo so how are we going to do that go to the image and mode and the rgb color mode is really checked the rgb mode is checked and we are changing from rgb that is colored to the grayscale what does the grayscale means grayscale means that an image only includes black white and shades of gray so that that is the black and white we want in our photo so i'm changing from the grayscale and for photoshop really detects and asks you whether you want to discard all the colors that are in your photo to the gray part remember the gray means the grayscale means black only white and shades of gray so if i say discard all the colors in my photo will be circulate and we have muted colors so that's the perfect and perfect way of making your photos black and white so one trick to selectively desaturate colors into your photo because if you do such all the colors in your photo if you use the gray mode the grayscale mode it will desaturate or mute all the colors but I, I can say how can you really desaturate just colors or and selectively mute colors of my photo and I don't want to lose all so let's write let's go there and see that so I'm having this photo go to the adjustments click the hue and saturation adjustment layer so it pops up and brings this thumb stuff behind if you click it it brings the eyedropper so this eyedropper helps us selectively pick colors into my photo and decide on what to do about it so if i highlight it and click this color it will rename it or it will describe it as yellows and if i check with the hue part it will really change from yellow to any color that i would want if i don't want that color into my photo i'll go ahead to the saturation tab and desaturate it so this desaturates that color and if it really becomes dull i'll go to the lightness and make that color light up a bit so i see 
and if I go back and click into a different color it will describe that color as yens or any or whichever color that will tap in and the search light plus luminous with it so again I select a color and describe it as greens the search light and light that up a bit so if you can see this was the before and after before and after before and after so this is how to selectively mute colors selectively mute some of the colors that are in your photo and thank you for whoever was watching this don't forget to comment consider subscribe and share love you